Hello, my name is Jesus Castillo, and this is a video for rubyguides.com, rubyguides.com. In this video, I want to show you the itself method, the itself method. Okay, so this is a new method that was introduced in Ruby 2.2, okay, that's a few years ago, like free thing. And it can be useful in some situations, as I'm going to show you in a code example. So le let's switch right away to my screen. And here's my screen, and we're talking about the self method. Okay, so it's a method. And you might be familiar with something else called self. Self. So self is a keyword. Okay, it's not a method, it's a keyword. So that's the main difference. Itself is a method, meaning you can call this method on objects. And also it's a method defined on kernel, on the kernel module. So what that means is that you can call this method on any object because kernel is included in every Ruby object by default. Okay. So itself is a method and self is a keyword. Okay, they have different uses. So let me show you an actual example. Let's create an array. One, two, three. Oh, let's have more numbers so you can see the example. Okay. And let's just print this array. We can see, let me move this. Okay. So we have our output and close that. Okay, so here's our output and it's our array, nothing special. So what happens if I get itself, the itself method is the same, okay? Because it's itself. For, so, uh, so if it's the same, you will you could be thinking, hey, Jesus. How is this useful? Because if it's itself, how could this possibly be useful? Right? It's the same thing. Well, there is some cool tricks you can do with this method. And that's why it exists. Okay? And the real trick is to combine it with other methods. That's where the real power of itself is okay so let's say that we want to count these numbers so we want to know how many times how many twos we have how many ones how many threes and how many fours okay this call will also be used for words okay for strings for counting strings so how do we do this? Well, we're going to need the assistance of my friend, the method group by. Okay. So this is an enumerable method, and it's going to help us count these numbers. Okay. So I'm going to use the shortcut syntax. Okay. And the itself method. So all of this is saying is call the itself method on every element of the of the array. Okay. So in practice, what this we do is one itself, two itself. Okay. So this might look silly, but look look what happens now. Okay, when I print this, so let me de remove this and now print the results. This group by itself, okay. And also, I like how this reads. I like how this reads. It reads array, hey array, group yourself by its by yourself, <laughs> group by itself. L l l no, l l let's look, let's look at the results. So if you look at my output window on the right, you see that it did what I wanted, what I explained. It grouped the the numbers by 
by themselves. So one, one, two, 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 three, 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 three. So we have three threes, three threes, <laughs> and three twos. Okay, and that's where that is coming from. Okay, so how do we go from here to the actual count of this? Okay, so we need one more step. Okay, so that's one thing I really like about Ruby. You can build up your result, adding more methods. It's like a chain, right? You can start with your array and then you apply the group by. Uh, from there, we can see that the next step, the next step will be to count these value arrays, okay? Because remember, a hash is keys, which are these that I'm highlighting, and values, okay? So if we take the values, which are arrays, okay? And call the length or the size method on these arrays, we will get what we want. We will get the counts of twos, the counts of threes, etc. Okay? So I hope that makes sense. Let me show you the code example. So let me format it like this. And I'm going to add the each with object method. Okay, and what object do we want? It's an empty hash, okay? And we need a block, and in our block, we're going to have our key and value, and then the hash. So this hash is this hash right there, okay? This is an empty hash, well, it starts empty. Then we're going to add things to it. And this is the key and the value, okay? So now I'm going to take this hash, put in the value, okay? So if I do this, what we're going to get is the same, okay? Because there is no change being made. But now, here comes the magic, <laughs> here comes the real powerful thing we can change the value and tada we have our result as we wanted okay we have three twos three threes one four and one one and remember this works also for strings and anything you can count okay so this happens thanks to the itself method okay and the group by and each with object methods. So you have three methods, three methods in this video. You have itself, group by, and each with object. Okay? So I hope you found this video useful. Okay? And if you did, please subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get more videos like this and keep improving your Ruby skills. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, I appreciate it, see you in another video.